my main goal is I want to debank myself by the end of 2025. So it's I want so I want a Kita app where I put all my assets on there, fiat, you know, tokenized fiat, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, potentially tokenized stocks, like whatever I can put on there. I want an app where I can have all my assets. And then if like you wanted a wire transfer in the US, like I could just go on my app and say, okay, I'm going to send you US dollars, I enter your wire information and stable coins instantly go into US dollars and out over, you know, wire to you. Like that is my goal. Um, and so from a partnership perspective, that's what we're really aligning with is how do we get the asset issuers uh, to issue natively on chain and uh, connect us into the rails, whether it be, you know, another cryptocurrency or a fiat network uh, to do that. So another example is like, if I hold tokenized Bitcoin, and you want to receive Bitcoin, I should be able to pay you in Bitcoin from my Keto wallet without you ever knowing that I'm using Keto. Um, mm. It should just take my tokenized Bitcoin and say, okay, I'm paying you. Did you say by the end of 2025? Yeah. Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. I just shared a video from the founder of Keto Network. It's a new project that's available on Coinbase that I definitely recommend doing some research and checking out. This is his Twitter account. Now, what's unique about this project that you guys have to be aware of, it's actually backed by Eric Schmidt, the former CEO of Google. What's unique about this is uh, Eric Schmidt has only ever backed one other crypto project, which happens to be a top 15 crypto project, Chainlink. So if Eric Schmidt is backing your project. I think that's definitely significant. You can see he's a strategic advisor for uh, the Chainlink network, which is uh, top 12 blockchain in the entire world. And uh, he's personally invested, I believe, around $20 million and is fully backing Kita. It's a startup working to make cross border payments as easy as Venmo. And the technology is all, it is honestly insane. So the technology for Keto Network is uh, next level. You actually see that it does 11 million blockchain transactions per second. And it's an official partner of uh, Google Cloud. So Google Cloud is partnered with Keto Network as well. So there's some huge players involved in uh, Keto Network. And if we read this quote, with Keto, we want to make international payments as easy as Venmo. Uh, we want to make it very simple, very fast. We want to send your money where it's going so you don't have to worry about it. So uh, this is a, another contender. It's uh, I believe that stable coins are going to be a huge industry in the next two years. So I'm going to be dollar cost averaging into Kita uh, the next few years. I think it's going to be huge, especially with people like Eric Schmidt. And they actually have several huge partnerships. And another thing, so I know a lot of people that follow this channel are really uh, big fans of the compliant blockchains that have native ISO 20022 compatibility. Well, um, Kita is also a hidden ISO 20022 blockchain. So I'm getting like uh, OG, XRP, XLM, XCC, uh, vibes like anybody that won huge with those three uh, ISO coins from back in the day. This is a hidden ISO coin that's not on anybody's radar right now, and it could absolutely send uh, hard. Uh, so it also uh, Kita and Solo create the first ever blockchain credit bureau, uh, fueling traditional finance adoption of blockchain technology. So they actually have like credit lines. Uh, on the blockchain and they just announced a new partnership so if we look at the price of Kita right now so Kita is at 22 cents all time high is around $1.50 so um, there's, if it goes back to all time highs anyone that's getting around 22 cents is going to win big but the last announcement that they had it sent it to about 35 cents it went up like 40 cents and that announcement was they announced their first Fiat Anchor Ramp, which is a partnership with Bridge, which is owned by Stripe. So there's some connections with Kita and Stripe. There's so much to research into this project. So, you know, I'm just going to point you guys in the direction that I definitely recommend you guys go do research into this because 
Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, you could also see that he's like reaching out to the founder is reaching out to the DTCC. So let's read this post. So he's reaching out to the DTCC here. The um, our team Kita Network is prepared to facilitate any amount of volume you want to send to um. Nadine Shikar, head of DTCC Digital Assets. We're closely partnered with Google Cloud for years to build the most efficient and scalable network for tokenized assets. In June, we publicly demonstrated a test test, uh, stress test with over 11 million transactions per second. So if you go to his Twitter page, you'll see uh, lots of gems. They also have a solution for on-chain KYC, which is super important. I'll show you guys a video. So there's only ever going to be a max supply of 1 billion Kita tokens. 22 cents. Um, what's cool about it also is it's available on Coinbase. So it's very easy for the normal person to onboard. It's also available on Kraken, on the base chain. And um, they also have their own layer one. But it's currently at 104 market cap which is ranked 250 basically. So the fact that Eric Schmidt is back in this project and the other project that he's backing, Ch Ch Chainlink is a top 12 blockchain. Even if Kita only gets into the top 100, we're looking at some huge gains. So it's the ISO 20022 coin that no one's talking about, Kita, KTA. Right now there's 465 million Kita circulating. So this is something that I'm going to be uh, dollar cost averaging into, researching. And um, yeah, I just want to share with you guys some new projects that I'm looking into. I'm going to play with you guys this video that was posted on December 17th. Uh, you guys should, it's, it's basically saying fully regulated on-chain finance. But I really think that we want to be positioned in uh, blockchains that are solving use cases for stable coins. And Kita seems like it's primed for that. I think stablecoin is going to be a huge industry. Uh, this is December 22nd. Kita is building the compliant rails institutions need before they can move on chain. It's talking about their uh, KYC certification. But uh, let me show you guys this last video and I'll make some more videos about Kita. Also, Bitcoin just reclaimed 90,000. Hopefully, we get a big bounce going into the new year. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Kita Network is building the foundation for fully regulated on-chain finance. And the first four partnerships are key in making that possible. It starts with Footprint, which issues KYC certificates so participants can prove their identity and transact compliantly across the network. Next is Agora, issuer of KUSD, a fully compliant regulated stablecoin native to Kita. KUSD serves as the digital form of fiat, giving users and institutions a trusted settlement grade asset. Bridge brings real world payment rails into the ecosystem by enabling fiat on and off ramps. Users and institutions can move money between their bank accounts and KUSD on Kita seamlessly. Finally, Solo partners with Kita to build the first blockchain native credit bureau. We use verified on-chain identities to unlock real-world credit for individuals and businesses. Together, Footprint, Agora, Bridge, and Solo create a full compliance and liquidity stack, identity verification, a regulated stablecoin, and direct fiat connectivity, all running on Kita's speed and efficiency. This is the beginning of a fully regulated financial system built directly on-chain.